for a pass, eight seconds on the shot clock. Rashida Ray to Betsy Adams from the left wing, drains the three. Our first points of the game. Ball picks up her dribble, goes to the right elbow for Kelly Watts. She pulls up for the jumper and drains it. Kelly Watts gives the Crusaders a 5-4 lead with 16-20 to go in the first. And it goes out to Rashida Ray. Steps back, fires the three, and hits it for the Crusaders. Rashida Ray knocks down that three ball after she went four of five seconds on the shot clock. She turns, tries the hook shot, and rattles it in. Over to Myra Davis. Great play by Gina Lang. And er, to Lamont at the left corner. Five seconds on the shot clock. Mally Fox underneath puts it in with a right-handed hook. She was underneath the basket and found a way to get her arm out far enough. Thomas with the basketball for the Wright State Raiders. She drives in, hops, pulls back, jumper drained by LaShawna Thomas. Now that is the quick drive that we uh, Wright State fans have come to expect out of LaShawna Thomas. Raise overhead passes to Betsy Adams on the left wing. She dribbles right around the screen, pulls up for a straightaway three and drains it for the Crusaders. And Valpo's got a 19 to 12 lead, Betsy Adams. Left wing, Rashida Ray steps inside the arc, left block, Gina Lang spins, fires, and hooks it in off the window. And the Crusaders lead 21-12, a nine-point lead. And LaShawna Thomas has the basketball for the Raiders. She drives into the lane, steps back, and drains the jumper from 12 feet out over Betsy Adams. What an athletic move. Thomas to Davis, down low in the lane, Molly Fox spins, fires, and drains the fadeaway from the right side of the lane. Not a gick on the right wing. Overhead pass the right block for Stephanie Lang. She goes down to Gina Lang, who lays it in off the glass. Great ball movement by the Crusaders. They've got their biggest lead of the game at 14 points. She drives into the lane, kicks it out for Stephanie Lang. Her 10-foot jumper splashes straight through, and the Crusaders continue to extend their largest lead of the game. It's for Thomas. She fakes right, goes left, hands off for Sandifer. Her jumper is good from just beyond the left block. Jogs into the forecourt, now to the free throw line. Jump past Timmerman from the left corner, drains the three. Timmerman, one of the best three-point shooters in the league. And Valpo's got the possession. Gina Lang in the lane from Timmerman, has it poked away by Thomas. Thomas drives to the free throw line, pull up, jumper rattles around and in for LaShawna Thomas. Gets it back off to Laura Richards. Ten seconds on the shot clock, Gina Lang for three. Hits it, Gina Lang for three. Gina Lang has started to take some three-pointers this year. Bennett to Thomas on the right wing. She starts right, goes left, in the lane, up with the left hand that's laid in high off the glass. Thomas has 13 points. Now Lamont drives in. She goes up with the left hand, lays it in, and Stephanie Lang fouls her. And going the line for the three-point play. Making more of those shots even late than the Raiders are. Crusaders with the ball, off the inbounds pass. Betsy Adams drains a three from the top of the key. Puts it on the deck, goes in the lane, handoff for Stephanie Lang, who bounces it off the window and in. And at the six minute mark of the second half, inbound pass from Adams goes to Gick, in the lane, Tabith Gerardo lays it in with the right hand. Right side, her first three of the game. Now Betsy Adams behind the full court pressure, she goes up with the left hand and lays it in. Crusaders have done a great job to break the full court pressure by Wright State. All of a sudden, Wright State found their stroke from three, and there's the buzzer. Crusaders win 73 to 64, a nine point lead, but they held a 12 to 15 point lead for most of the second half.